Well, in today's deep dive, reading, writing, and Republicans. Conservatives are honing in on education as the battleground for its latest fight with the federal government. And it's turning into a little bit of an intraparty squabble. The issue has long been a political hot potato, although, for the most part, the Obama White House has won bipartisan praise for how it's handled uh, the federal government's role in education. That is, at least until now. The argument right now is over something called Common Core Educational Standards, first formulated by school officers and state governors. They cover English language, arts, and math with plans in the works to create standards for other subjects as well. The idea is to create one set of standards for kids from kindergarten to 12th grade to prepare high school graduates for college or the workforce. While not created by the White House, the Obama administration has promoted the standards by tying them to federal grants. So to date, 45 states have voluntarily adopted the standards over the past three years. But over the past few weeks, these standards have also become a rallying cry for some members of the Tea Party movement. Driven by what they describe as concerns of government influence in the schools, some conservatives have forced at least two GOP governors in Pennsylvania and Indiana to put the program on hold. Michigan legislators have uh, been asked to withhold funding, and the RNC is calling the standards an inappropriate overreach. But not all Republicans are on the same page. In fact, several are pushing back against this conservative criticism. Too often people are looking to fight with someone for the sake of fighting. So in some ways it's being viewed as the federal government putting another mandate on us where people don't realize the common core actually came from the governors. These standards, the common core state standards, are clear and straightforward. They will allow for more innovation, classroom, less regulation. They'll equip students to compete with their peers across the globe. Do not pull back. Please. Do not pull back from high, lofty standards. Well, Emmett McGroarty is with the Washington-based conservative group called the American Principles Project, which has led this fight against the Common Core Standards, and he joins me now. Uh, I look at the Common Core Standards. It seems like it's a basic, it's just a baseline. Looks to me not imposing its will on states and local uh, and local school boards of saying how you teach these programs or what is specifically you teach, but a baseline. Uh, is that not the proper role for the federal government? No, it's not the proper role for the federal government. Uh, what what uh, children are taught and, and how it's taught is uh, something that, that their parents should have a say in. It's something their teachers should have a, a say in, be part of the conversation. It's a matter of uh, local uh, jurisdiction, state. Uh, it's a state matter at, at most. It's not a, f a federal matter. It's not a matter for private interests or special interests. What's your concern, though, about all the states adopting sort of a, a basically the same core group of saying, okay, this is, we're going to meet these minimum standards when it comes to teaching children on these basic parts of, of, of skill set? Well, there, there's a, a couple of concerns. Uh, one is the quality uh, of the Common Core. Uh, so the Common Core is evalu has been evaluated by Professor Milgram of Stanford as putting American students about two years behind their international competitors by eighth grade. Uh, likewise, uh, the English language uh, uh, standards has, have been evaluated by Professor Sandra Stotsky as not preparing students for authentic college work. So the, the quality of the standards are poor. Then there's the process. But what if the quality were better? If the quality were better and you could sign off on it, does that I mean, you know, you're making an argument then that you think that there should be some standard, are you not? Well, I think the, the two things go hand in hand. The, the reason why the quality is bad is because the parents and their legislators, their state legislators, were cut out of the process. Uh, and when you cut the judge out of the process, you have to expect bad standards. So they go hand in hand. Uh, and we've talked to legislators across the, the state. Uh, none of them knew about the Common Core, uh, really, um, um, until this issue started rising. They didn't know about it. it. It was pushed into the states without their consent. They weren't briefed on it. The states had very little time to evaluate the standards. Is your issue less with the specifics of what the what the federal government is pushing here and more with the idea that the federal government even has a role at all? 
ultimately it's it's about empowering parents and i think what we're finding in this country this is a mom led movement really in state after state what we're finding is that you dig down deep enough there's a bedrock of principle that most all americans can agree on and on education that bedrock of principle uh, includes the the idea that parents should have a say in what their children learn that's why moms are rising up against it uh, and and that's what the republican party is struggling with now and so you think federal government no role at all should I mean should there be zero role or what should the federal government's role be in the edu in, in primary education? Here's here's the problem. Uh, the, the Bush administration was big on accountability. They never answered the question accountability to whom. So if you have accountability running to the federal government, you don't have accountability running to parents and local officials. And that's what's happening. You can't have accountability running to the to the federal government. It takes away the primacy. But it, of sounds, it sounds like you're not fully against the idea of the federal government having some substantial role here. I, I am against the federal government having a role. It takes away the authority of the any parents. role at all. Any role at all. And even setting any of these minimum floors. The, the federal role in education should really be limited to civil rights. That's make, making sure that the civil rights of Americans uh, is not are not violated. Basically, access to school and education. Period. Yes. All right. And Mayor Corti, I appreciate you coming on, sharing your views. We'll be following your campaign as we go on. Well, thank you very much. All right. Tomorrow on the show.